So this is question number nine, and we are told figure two shows a reaction scheme starting with copper tannins. Study it and answer the questions that follow. Uh, so we have copper tannins. Uh, heat is applied. Uh, so we have a brew solution here. The brew solution here uh, is a copper sulfate. Copper sulfate. And the copper sulfate, once it, uh, it uh, passes through excess pneumonia, uh, it will react. And uh, first of all, it will form some precipitate, which in excess of ammonia, they dissolve and uh, they form they dissolve and they form a blue a deep blue solution uh, which is a complex ion uh, which we write like this cu complex ion uh, that is uh, n h uh, 4 uh, this is an ion this is a uh, ion positive ion and it is known as tetramine copper 2 ions Tetra, tetramine copper 2 ion so the other branch uh, we have uh, we have a gas here H so this is a potassium chromate, chromate 6 uh, which is orange and you can see it turns into a green solution and therefore the gas produced here is sulfur dioxide sulfur dioxide so that's uh, the, the what is represented uh, by this structure and we can go to the questions uh, state uh, the reagent that is added in step one the reagent added here in step one is con con concentrated sulfuric acid so you can say conk uh, sulfuric acid uh, which you can also write as conk uh, H2SO4 conk sulfuric acid uh, part 2 identify H uh, where is our H we have said this this gas is sulfur dioxide sulfur uh, sulfur dioxide uh, which can also be written like that sulfur di uh, dioxide then uh, part C write the formula for the complex ion in solution J which we have already written here so it is copper uh, that is we have said it is known as tetramine copper 2 sulfate and the formula is the one that I have put here. So it is H copper uh, tetramine. Uh, this is a four and this is an ion, positive ion. So this is two. Uh, the name, this is positive. The name of this uh, ion is known as uh, tetra. I mean, copper 2 ions so that is how you answer that question and uh, you'll be able to get the three marks